right on. Hello, hello, hello. This is Audible. I wish it wasn't. Are we here? Are we here now? We're, we're in the thing. And as you can see, we're, we're at a, what now? I'm going to stream here for four hours tonight. And after the four hours are up, I will be moving over to YouTube. Let me see if I can remember how to do this. Episode 3 Progress and Reese Plush Campaign Stream. <clears throat> yeah, give me just a second. We're still getting going. end the stream so how is this going to work I end the stream at midnight and then I publish the video I wonder if that Rex are you there are you back yet I'm wondering what would be better to, to have the four hour stream on YouTube and then the moment it hits midnight I put out the video I don't know maybe I should just do all eight hours of it here on Twitch I'm not sure I, th I think I think I might just wait on the YouTube stream. I'll do a YouTube stream when I do stickers. Because if I do a YouTube stream, and then I stop the stream, and then immediately 
start uh, a video, people might think that that's just a link to the stream and it'll mess it up. So I, I think I may just keep the, the eight hours here. I'll think about it as we get closer. But for now, I will show the other thing I was doing. Come to little hyenas now. Вы бы хотела себе друга. Нет такого, который будет утомлять вас рассказами о своей поездке на Кипр, а который будет вашим покорным слушателем. Тогда я представляю вам мистера Риса. Did you fall off the cart again? Oh, come on. Come to little hyenas now. Вы бы хотела себе друга. Нет такого, который будет утомлять вас рассказами о своей поездке на Кипр, а который будет вашим покорным слушателем. Тогда я представляю вам мистера Риса. Did you fall off the cart again? Oh, come on. Anyhow, 
let's let's get some some other stuff done. Excellent. So yeah, it, that you'll see the timer down there. If I level zero. How can I read that? FLW zero. Thank you for the sub. Welcome. Are we set up? Yeah, there we go. Oh wait, goddamn. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot I made this one. This wasn't a wasn't a bad prototype at first. This was this was the original prototype. Lordy Lord. And then the updated versions, which I believe I did a better job on this because this, this is what they actually look like. Yeah, that's as close to the actual plush as I could get a model. I think the plush actually looks a little bit cuter. Anyway. Our love is forbidden. What would they say? <laughs> Teach me how to fly. But first, teach me how to love. Then my heart can truly fly. <laughs> no, go, go back to threatening to kill me. That was kind of gay. Yeah, I, I think I was just fine with the throat cutting part. <laughs> Guts theme.
I'll probably give Leon a more fancy blade, but for now it's just a little scalpel thing. Serves good as a placeholder. This was sampled. This is uh, Lalo Schifrin's uh, theme for the Danube incident. He's the guy that did the Mission Impossible theme as well. But the song was sampled in a Portishead song that you've probably heard before. More like the doo-doo incident. Damn, dude. Sorry. So... I've been having second thoughts about the YouTube stream. Oh, why? Well, uh, actually, no. Uh, the the band, the group of people who do the music for Silent Hill were directly inspired by this band because this music came out before Silent Hill did. The people who make the music uh, for Silent Hill said that their like main uh, inspiration for Silent Hill's twangy old music like this was was this band. One second, Rex. stream I mean right at the end of the YouTube stream I dropped the video and I was thinking if if I don't do it if I do a stream and then a few minutes before the video drops I leave the stream and then I drop the video I think less people will be notified of it because they just got notified about me doing a stream but I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not. I'm not leaning hard one way or the other. But I was thinking, get everybody hyped up on this stream, and then at the end of this stream, like go for eight hours, and at the end of the eighth hour, I go, all right, everybody, have a good night. Orders are going up on, or you know, I stay for an hour while the orders are going up, and I make it a nine-hour stream. I don't know, but. 
that's what I would want to do if I did the YouTube thing. I'd do four hours here, and then instead of four hours on the YouTube stream, I'd do five hours on the YouTube stream. But at the fourth hour of the YouTube stream, that'll be right when the plush order form drops for everybody. And then I stream for an extra hour. But people won't be watching the YouTube video. They'll be in my YouTube stream. So if I'm releasing the video that says link below, the link is down here, but everybody's over in my stream watching my stream, I don't think as many people will get notified about it. I don't know. Or I do the YouTube stream for three hours and go like, all right, everybody, in, in one hour from now, the, the thing will come out. See, I, I didn't think this through. What What do you think? Because I don't, I'm, I don't really have a sure thing in any direction. Yeah. And I don't know how the fucking stupid algorithm shit works. Well, I'm no YouTube algorithmist. Neither um, am I. But I think any sort of presence, especially a live one, even if briefly, is still going to put a lot of attention towards your mm -hmm. plushes rather than just not doing it at all and just kind of True. relying on a community True. post. Like, so, I'm still up for doing it. I, I want to do the YouTube post. Like, I want yeah, to do you it. still should. But I'm kind of afraid, you know, that, that it'll, like, people go, oh, well, but, like, how should I do it, though? How do you think I should do it? Should I release the video while I'm streaming? Do I release, do I, like, stop the stream and then release the video? You get what I, I mean? think if you release the video while you're streaming, like people and, will get notified of the video. They'll be like, oh man, this is sick. Oh shit, Fred is online. He's streaming right now on YouTube. Uh -huh. I'll go check that out too. Being there to like answer questions, just kind of like show off the plush in person, working on your cartoon and just hanging out. Yeah, yeah, I, I want to do that. I just don't know how it's going to affect the, the video release. I hate I mean, this. I hate that I have to con be concerned about this so much. You also have mixed audiences of people that don't that particularly like to watch streaming, but they'll yeah, watch too. the video anyway. Like they'll, they'll prefer to see that because I don't know, like some, yeah. some people, they, they just don't like to watch streams. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I totally get that. I don't I don't watch streams. <laughs> I mean, I'll watch yours and I'll watch Joe's and, and Bubba's and like Boogs and, and like close friends like that. But I don't go like, oh, I'm bored. What's so and so doing? It's because the only reason I don't it's not that I don't like streams. It's because I stream so much as it is. I'm just used to being in mine. So when I'm not yeah. in mine, I'm like, I'm, I'm going to go eat and, and take a piss and, and walk outside and look at the world. <laughs> I've been down here in a fucking basement for so long. It's a really isolating thing. Even yeah. as social as it is, it's very isolating. Uh, but yeah, anyway, just back to the YouTube thing. I, I think that you should still stream, maybe not for five hours. Like, well, like I said, uh, I'm going to stream for eight hours tonight. So I was thinking four hours yeah. here and four hours on YouTube. Okay. Yeah, I think having a presence when you drop the video will help a lot. You tend to get a lot of viewers on YouTube over there, too. And from what I've seen, I've only seen you like stream on YouTube like a handful of times and people really like to donate. Yeah, it, like I, it, if I streamed every day, the donations would go away and I would average about 50, 5, 60 people per stream. The last mm -hmm. time I streamed on YouTube regularly, like when it was my main streaming website, first time I streamed, it was like 1,400 people, then 580 people, then 300 people, then 120 people. And then every day after that, that I streamed, it, it was just like, topped out at 50. But, uh, yeah, well, the last few times I saw you stream on YouTube, it got well over 200. Oh, when it started out, it was like a, there were about a thousand people 
Last yeah. time I streamed, it was like five, six hundred people, I think. But that was just like consistent. Like right when it starts, you're going to get like a couple thousand. And then after you're like, hey, everybody, I'm doing some animation today. It instantly like plummets to two or three hundred people. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm just going to do some animation. <laughs> You're not screaming at a video game or showing a final product. I don't care. You're not painting your boobies and bouncing on some moon boots. <laughs> Fuck this. I want my moon boot boobies. <laughs> Have I gotten copyright claimed on my YouTube streams? Well, on YouTube streams, I don't. I try not to play any music. On Twitch, no one gives a shit. When the VOD comes back up and there's copyrighted music in it, the audio for that part just gets muted. I don't get a strike. I don't, I don't get a, a mark on my channel or anything. And they're just like, oh, well, when you upload it, this part of your stream has to be muted. That's fine. I don't care. That's fair. Why do I keep the lean? It's your strong cheek. Okay. Uh, it looks tilted to me. Have a good night, Meerkat. I keep leaning and I don't know why. Is it my headphones? Nightmare. I hope you feel better. Parse Shadow, I'm just seeing your message. I'm sorry. If you assign an object to hairs, the objects float in random place. You're going to have to be a little more specific. I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. What do you mean by hairs? Insert doesn't paste anymore. Damn, they really are getting rid of the old stuff. Well, you're still using 3.6.1? No, I'm talking about Windows. 
Control oh. insert for copy, shift insert for paste, shift delete for cut. Those are like old 80s keyboard shortcuts for cut, copy, and paste. I think like late 80s, like DOS, whatever. Anyway, let's see how this looks with their names in the captions. Okay, that's better. That's easier to make sense of to me. Yeah, I think I'll save it that way. But this also means I have to go back and do it to the first one. Uncle Sarex, I think, makes ship, handles all the shipping. Yeah, I, I'm not making the plushes. Those are done by Makeship. Go to makeship.com and look at their FAQ if you have any questions about that stuff. I couldn't tell you. I've bought a bunch of their plushes. I live in Canada. I think they have their main office is Canada, but they also have a U.S. office just over the border so they can have cheaper shipping. I don't know for a fact. I can't guarantee any of that. I know it's going to take them a couple months to even make the plush. Fisher, that's for the for the Reese plush. You know, you, I think you remember me saying that I was going to get a plush made by Makeship. When, when that timer reaches zero, the page, I will release the video. It's going up tonight. Well, if you've already pre-ordered, you will be charged on your card tonight. The, the remaining money, I believe. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. I I don't know. Yeah, did, did you see the... Well, I, I guess I could show it again. <laughs> I am proud of it. I'm happy with how it turned out. I'm sorry you have a head cold. Reese plushes have been known to help with head colds, so... That's possible.
вы бы хотела себе друга. Нет такого, который будет утомлять вас рассказами о своей поездке на Кипр, а который будет вашим покорным слушателем. Тогда я представляю вам мистера Риса! Did you fall off the cart again? Oh, come on. So yeah, that's gonna drop on the YouTube channel tonight.
think that's all of them. Let's see how it looks. <clears throat> Just paying attention to the captions now. Their lines are translated. I don't have them voice recorded yet. I'm still looking at the, the voice actors. But I've had several Polish people cross-reference, all of them in the same group chat looking over the, the Polish lines and they've all said that just other than the 1% of things that they couldn't agree on that were just, you know, different opinions on something that wasn't that big of a deal. I was arbitrary on those. Uh, the other 99% they said was totally fine, totally believable, not cringe sounding or anything like that. why the mouth movements aren't in yet. I'm just trying to get like the, the bulk of the basic stuff done for every scene as quick as possible until the end of it. And then once I finish this one off and then I can get the, the Polish voice lines in and then I can add the mouth movements. Because this scene, that this whole part with Wolf is like the biggest, longest thing in the episode so far. 
this scene alone is longer and more complex than anything I've ever done in my life. their names in front of the captions originally i was just going to leave it color coded that's not going to be in the final render it's just it's for my reference right now and for when i send it to the voice actors i'm because i'm going to send them this i'm going to do all of the lines in polish just as a placeholder like it's going to sound horrible and, and unpracticed and whatnot except for leon's lines leon's lines i'll i'll do the best of my ability but just just to send it to them be like okay so you know if if my mannerisms in, from western english don't hold up in polish say the lines how you think they should be sounding I'll, I'll, I'm going to leave a little note in there. I assume they all speak English. So all of their pages were in English. So I'll just tell them as plain as possible if they have a different way that they think would sound better to a Polish ear, then please go with that. Like, like I, you know, the, the, the script is pretty firm, but if... If the voice actor thinks that something would sound a little bit better, I'll run it by my other friends. Even if this scene was all in English, this is still the most challenging, most intricate, complex scene I've ever animated and directed and written and edited and composed for out of anything I've ever done. So on top of that, 90% of the conversation is in Polish. <laughs> yeah, I have like five different makeshift plushes. They're all amazing. They're, I mean, I don't sleep with them or wrestle with them or anything, but th they, that you can squeeze them and pull on them. They, they feel strong. They, they're very high quality. Will this be the best scene in A Fox in Space 3? I hope not. I hope this is the, the worst scene. So I look at the scenes I started with in episode two and like, ugh, they're all right. They're all right. But compared to, you know, like the, the very first scene, he's like, Peppy and James, it's been a long time. If you look at the animation and quality in that compared to like James walking through the train with like 10 people on it all turning and looking at him while he's walking. Yeah, it's very, very, very different quality levels.
Looks like Wolf is speaking sorry and Ofya Ruvuye Chimwesha Tunik Krazoa Palace. Napr Shikwat Zamkanon Shin Kurva And they stop. This is where he's <laughs> I think Wolves are just gonna be like just like very, 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 you barely hear him saying it. He's, he's just looking up at him and just going, thank you, thank you. <laughs> the way he like squeezes the knife against Wolf's throat and goes, keep doing. <laughs> I don't know. It'll have to be very quick and subtle if I put it in. But yeah, this is where I'm at now. Yes, I am voicing Leon. Leon lived with his mother longer than he's been around his father, and his mother is Russian. So he's he's more like the outsider half-brother of the, the two muscle guys over here of the operation. Uh, you know, it's, it's not implied so much, but, you know, his dad, Yanush, is, you know, looking for something for Leon to do. Leon's more of a bookworm. Does he develop his perfect English accent like from the games? Nah. No, his accent... Hey, Spirit. His accent is going to be... Well, I mean, I, I can do it better now, but, but he's going to have a Slavic accent like he did in episode one. And Leon actually gets quite a bit of character development compared to everyone else. I know Pigma got some too. Actually, yeah, Leon, Pigma, and Andrew have all had a, a good little bit of lore in the Fox and Space episodes. I mean, like, uh, most of Andrew was in the previously segment. He had quite a few lines. Little shithead setting up Fox for an ambush. This is for episode three. I'm guessing episode three will be around 30 minutes. I'd like it to be. I want to. I want to spend three years on it and then move the fuck on. Might be four years. I don't know. I, I will. We'll cross that bridge as it comes to us.
Nesta! Uh, it's food time for me. So let me go eat, and I'll be back in a few minutes.
I want hot white queso. Then go do it. No. Then don't do it. Okay. You know that stuff from, uh... Okay, yeah, the, the, the ones they have at, at, at Chipotle is pretty dang good. But didn't we go to a place near where you are, Bubba, with Fred and got some? It was like Chori Queso or something. You're talking about Mijaliscos, right? I think so. It's where we got the, uh, the, the TikTok fad tacos. What are they called? Oh, the Barilla tacos? Yeah, 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 but that shit. It's where we got that, right? Yeah, they do good queso. Yeah, yeah they do. Holder, don't say free queso. You need to see a doctor if you've got furry queso. Yes, this track is from Diablo 2. You're gonna get this started. play the greatest action RPG ever made yeah check it out for sure Red Goddess Vegolution Vegan Donaires they're very good It's way more complex and involved than either Diablo 3 or 4. You might not like it because the graphics are a little dated, but even for 2D game graphics, they're fucking amazing. Yeah, if you ever want to see the music, it's right here. What time are we at for the plush? Six and a half hours to go. <clears throat> I got back into Barrow Trauma the other night. I'm gonna look up some mods and see if I can make it more survivally. Like you have to eat hash infections and whatnot. There's 
plenty of ailments that you have to cure in that game as it is. I don't get Sid to play it. He might become obsessed with it like I did. Wait, like it'll like rupture your body if you're swimming around and they fire off a sonar. <laughs> yeah, uh, <clears throat> a lot of people compare Space Station 13 to Barrow Trauma. Barrow Trauma even has kind of a SS 13 nod with the whole clown colony. I believe that's where the original clown stuff came out. played Space Station 13 like four times, and all four times I played, I was killed in the first two minutes. And I had to wait for like 30-something fucking minutes for the round to start over, so I did not have a good first experience with it at all. It'd be like if I was like, dude, you gotta try Barrow Trauma, it's great, and then a friend tries it and they die in two minutes right at the beginning over and over and over again. Pervert the name of Golayan. <laughs> Golayan between my legs and <laughs> on my Blasphemer, Morala Halala. Stay a while and listen. The one guy in the party that every time you go to a city, he's got to <laughs> turn the name of the city into something perverted. Welcome to the village of Wonchesuk. <laughs> hey guys, no, no, we get it. We already know what you're going to say. No, you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> Come on. Let's go to the tavern <laughs> of Won't You Suck. extract bullets and clamp veins and clean and suture wounds. I like that. That's what I liked about Arma 3. 
It's like, there, you're healed, and they get shot like four times all over their body again. So they're just basically a walking bandage. Yeah, I fucking love Arma 3. When it works and when you've got nice, friendly people to play it with who are very professional. I don't know, I've played on some, like, big reenactment servers and there's a lot of shitty, toxic people on there. <clears throat> booger beards that I could probably throw out of a fucking window if I wanted. I'm like, you really, you really got a mouth on you, buddy. Well, you shouldn't come in here. Blah, 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 blah. It's just like <laughs> I know who I'm accidentally throwing a grenade at once the round has started. Hey, now. That wasn't a reference to you. <laughs> okay, I gotta make a quick lunch. I'll be right back. Sure, sure. I'll be here.
I noticed that like the the military types that I would play with on Arma 3, like the, the ones who were actually in the military and were trying to do everything by the book and all that, they're very quiet. And they're very professional, but they're like, okay guys, we're uh, going over here, uh, go over your 2505 uh, blue team, blah, blah, blah. And uh, know your, your your nine code and blah 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 and this and this uh, check your weapons and you know they're just like and then the other people are like okay can we get this going I don't look at that. okay this guy's not even wearing the right oh my god we're gonna fucking lose blah 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 it's like those League of Legends mindset people I don't know just people being smart asses not even like funny just like they're they're already having a bad time when they just started and i'll get in my team with someone who's an actual you know staff sergeant or whatever and he's just super quiet and friendly and tells everybody like if you have a, a newbie question he doesn't have anything smart ass to say to you. I'm all about immersion, but people making mistakes in Arma 3 is less immersion breaking than someone being a shit dick to a new guy. I've just left at times. My friends are like, I'm sorry, did you not have a good time? I was like, I was having a good time until this guy and this guy started talking to this other new guy like he was a baby and he was being very polite and just asking questions and everybody was just rolling, these dudes were just rolling their eyes and this isn't what I expected to have to deal with. I I come here every f Thursday and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, oh my God. People who treat it like a fucking job. It's like, this is where I come to take a break from my job. Actually, those laugh frames look pretty good for the reference. I know what he's going to do. He's going to look over and say, Uswoogie. waited till we were alone to ask this. That's me being nice. Can... Can I see your legs? I don't know, Wolf. Can you?
Yeah, joining random servers is not a good idea. Thank you, whoever you are, Anonymous, for gifting a sub to Snaldy Wolf. Much appreciated.
tan gronche, corva. This is coming along about as good as I wanted it to. I can't complain. Party of two.
I be the better sender, you yes. bad cookie monster. You acting like a toddler. I be the better sender, you bad cookie monster. You acting like a toddler. I be the better sender. So I need to figure out what the stream is going to be called. Fox in space, Reese plush debut. Reese plush midnight drop and episode three progress stream. Xavier the real cookie monster, yeah. we've come to crunch Ow. Sandler got his panties in a bunch Yarg. Switch up your career lag, low to ponder the shores Ooh. Reese plush order form drops at 11pm Eastern Xavier wins every fight, bang 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 Ready to order yours Let them rot through the harpies He ran our weird poor site, we don't like him Xavier the new invaders him Countdown. Countdown. Gotta put that word in there. So Reese Blush order form drops 11 p.m. Eastern. Midnight Atlantic. We should try overdosing on pills from Skid Row. Get ready to order yours while we count down the few remaining hours before. We beat up Adam Sandler, he a bad cookie monster. He's acting like a toddler. I beat up Adam Sandler, he a bad cookie monster. He acting like a toddler. I go down Adam Sandler, he a bad cookie monster. Fuck Adam Sandler. I just don't remember how you schedule a date for it. Recording date. Um, betting, comments, and ratings. Schedule it. Schedule stream. What? I suppose we'll figure it out. Hey, Orby, how's it going?
I forget how I did this for the last one. is bigger than yeah, I hate that so much I hate that so much yeah, give me a minute Carl's my rep for makeshift. So I'm making a picture for.
can I find a picture of Reese? You'll you'll see here in a second. There we go. That's a good thumbnail. File is bi uh, fine. I'll save it as a fucking JPEG. Three hundred and twenty-two kilobytes. Thank you. Jeez. All right. Next, schedule the date. So it'll be in a little over two hours, a little under two hours, an hour 45, 8, 8 p.m. Okay, and that's at 8 p.m. done. I assume it's going by my time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You ready to click go live when you're done streaming? Be sure to click end stream. If I got so that that means I've I've got one scheduled. Wait, it doesn't actually show it. Did anybody get a thing showing my my live stream is scheduled? For YouTube? Yeah, somebody's here. 
Yeah, I don't... I didn't realize that you were speaking to us. Okay. One waiting. Okay, so it does in 102 minutes. Okay, so it is. It's good. Okay. Yep, it's working. It shows. It, it wouldn't show for yep. me because I was logged in. I had to... So in 102 minutes, that means... Yep, okay. That, I did it right. I did it right. So I think, I think it's good. Just on my channel, I suppose. Yeah, yep, if you my, go to Fred's channel and click on the live tab. Yeah. I guess if you search a fox in space right now, the first thing that comes up is the link to it. So yeah, I'll be here for another hour or so, and then I will be streaming the next four hours on YouTube. It's there. I guess I just leave that window open. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so what do I do? When the video drops, I keep streaming a little after the video drops. Yeah, sure. And and I, tell I would everybody, say just oh, keep it up. organic. Yeah, and, and that way the people that aren't on the stream will still see the the video. Mm hmm. Yes, they they they. I haven't started making them yet. They're not going to make them until I get two hundred confirmed plush orders. I've got 340, so as long as those pre-pre-orders allow them to charge the rest to the, the credit card, whatever credit card you used to get the $2 pre-order a few months ago, then you will, you'll get them just the same as everybody else. It's going to be months, it's going to be like two or three months before they make them, or for them to make them, but you know. Uh, every plush that I've ever funded on Makeship, you know, I forget about it for two or three months, and then I get it. And I'm like, oh, it's my hyena, eh. or whatever. This isn't like you order one and then you get it in two days. They have to confirm that that many people want one, then they will 100% make it. But I think we've already got that, so... People are already sending me pictures of their stickers.
He gets out of his car and tries to pick a fight with Mike Ehrmantraut. Just instantly ends up on the ground. <laughs> uh, I'm validated. See the stickers? Well, I see five stickers. You're one shy. It's three dollars. They gave me... Look... I'm validated for the entire day, okay? Five stickers, six stickers, I don't know from stickers because I was in that court back there saving people's lives, so. Oh, gee, that's swell. And thank you for restoring my faith in the judicial system. Now, you either pay the three dollars or you go back inside and you get an additional sticker. Fine, you win, hooray for you. Backing up! I have to back up! I need more stickers! Don't have enough stickers! <laughs> it was such a joy watching him on Mr. Show. And then Better Call Saul. And then the movie Nobody, which was pretty great. Ten minutes to walk down here. Five dollars and you go get another sticker. This makes you feel real important, huh? Not enough stickers? More stickers? <laughs> like a troll under a bridge. You must send the stickers and you won't pass. Troll alert here. Don't feed it. <laughs> Not the loquacious sort, are you? We can't all be as blessed as you. Well, thanks for your help. Don't mention it. And, uh, if you ever need any assistance. I can still see it burned into my retinas like I was staring into the sun. <laughs> well, the other freak gets on the ground. I'm sorry. All right, all right. seen funny games. I'm gonna, yeah, switch over here. Whoops. I think I hit the wrong button. heavily thinking about the logistics of having my desktop as my carry-on mm -hmm. just so I can still animate <laughs> leading up to my flight because I don't I don't want to pack my computer and ship it tomorrow wait your desktop yeah how would you be able to use it though well, I mean here at home oh so you don't have to, to ship it way before 
Yeah. Because otherwise, I mean, I'd be without it. Is it small enough until... to put inside of a big suitcase? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. This desktop will fit. It's quite compact. Yeah, I'm going to pull the total Chad move and just bust out my desktop and start working on my <laughs> while I'm in my seat on the airplane. Based. I'm just going to say check and make sure that that's something you can do, because I know that with like hmm. some electronics, they want you to prove that it can turn on and work and that it's not a a, a boomer. A boom boom. Yeah. It may be completely okay. I just know that with laptops, every now and then they'll just ask somebody, oh, turn it on, make sure it works. Prove that it's so not. Please a remove thing. the computer from your carry on bag and place it in a separate bin for x ray screening. Yep. That's typical. Can desktop computers be transported? You're technically allowed to fly with a desktop computer in both carry on and checked. Yes, they will allow it. I would highly advise taking out as many loose parts as you can and wrapping them up. You know, I, I would maybe remove the graphics card and wrap it up so it doesn't get knocked around. Yeah, obviously. Definitely the most expensive component. And really, it's only just so I can keep animating. I, I really love what I'm working on, and I don't want to have to stop and not work on it for five days or six. And if it gets damaged during transit, it's OK, because it's 100% insured. Yeah, just make sure that your stuff isn't on it. Oh, the uh, memory sticks? One second. Yeah, everything's backed up uh, two times over. Yeah, Roscoe, that's what mine came with. And I still have all that original foam packaging and everything. I'm not just going to stuff it in a suitcase and call it a day. I'm going to take real good care of it and make sure it's properly secured inside and out. So much appreciated.
Jordan Fox fumbles the the word maxillofacial. <laughs> uh, maxilla fascia maxillofacial. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> But maybe you break Vinland into Fortuna. How he know you telling truth? Sir, I came here to pay my father's debt and to ask you for a job. I was careful. No one in the entire Lilat system knows that I'm here except for you. Well, well I mean... You still should be splashed. Do you want to get <laughs> oh god, this is the worst day of my life. Him exactly what I'm saying. Mr. <laughs> Vyaforo, Wait, 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 please, please, please. Zaraz, Chikai, Chikai, Chikai. I have something to say to you on a piece of paper. I, I have a paper in my coat, my coat pocket, that, that, that I would like to read to you, Mr. Wolski, please. <laughs> Let me read it, please. Proche, proche. Thank you, thank you. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. That will never not be funny. Do it. Uh, Yes, to dzisiaj, aby spłacić dwóch mojego ojca, ale co ważniejsze, aby znaleźć pracę. Na razie nie mam już żadnej przyszłości na Kornerii. Mogę pomóc twojej rodzinie. Ofiarowuje ci moje szacunek, moje słowo i moje usługi. Ale nie tylko jego usługi. Na przykład. Zamknął się, kurwa! Yeah, he tells his brothers to shut the fuck up. And he looks back at Wolf and he's like, okay, keep doing. Uh, yeah. Keep going slowly. <laughs> Uswoogie. They just think he sounds funny when he says Uswoogie. Can you imagine a Polish speaking person hearing someone with Wolf O'Donnell's accent trying to to, to speak Polish? This is what I'm working on right now.
I mean, is that a is that a quote from a website? Well, if you heard it on a website, it's probably true. I think anything other than any, anything better than the Shyamalan one. I don't know. I don't have faith for anything or in anything anymore. Not for writing. I guess since there's people here, I could do a sneak peek. <laughs> the good one or the one with the blue people? <laughs> we got two new avatars in the past two years, didn't we? <laughs> well, if you're coming from YouTube, I will show a sneak peek of the video that's going to drop at midnight. Come to little hyenas now. Вы бы хотели себе друга. Нет такого, который будет утомлять вас рассказами о своей поездке на Кипр, а который будет вашим покорным слушателем. Тогда я представляю вам мистера Риса. You fall Message. off the card again. Message. Oh, come on. Message. Wait, is is my thing just stuck saying message? Message. It, yep. Um. Message. How how many? How many? <laughs> let's let's try that again. Here come the little hyenas now. Вы 
бы хотела себе друга. Нет такого, который будет утомлять вас рассказами о своей поездке на Кипр, а который будет вашим покорным слушателем. Тогда я представляю вам мистера Риса! Did you fall off the cart again? Oh, come on. All right, I gotta run an errand before Jim, so Boo. I'm hopping off now. Boo! Off now. Yeah, I know. All right, we'll see. I'm you. gonna go get fit though, so I'm good with it. Oh, the adventures, kiddo. Uh, they'll drive you into some nasty habits. Indeed. Thank you, Rex. Other Rex.
I don't feel threatened. It is the countdown until the Reese plush is ready to go. The, the, the little dude will go on sale for everybody, not just the pre-orders, the pre-pre-orders. I have a random Herbert button. <laughs> I look away for one second and you're making some noises I've never heard before. makes that noise. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Gross! 
Oye. is animating. Let me pop you up there. What is normal, man? <sighs> Daddy, chill. <laughs> oh, yeah! We're just innocent, man. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so what, what is it that he says in the show? I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> Everyone lives! It's not a Muffet episode! Everyone lives! <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah! Oh, yeah! Rex, are you there? trying to focus i wish i weren't i wish i twasn't <laughs> jesus oh is rex cold, rex is animating something else right now he's get, he's literally getting ready to pack up his computer in about two days and then uh once he and bubba switch places and they get all moved in they're both going to go back to animating for me right now yeah i'm just doing something for myself for fun <clears throat> you are <clears throat> oh Is that showing you? Yep. I think I made your screen a little bit too wide. That's all right. All right no, hold on. I think. Like, let me. Well, no, I don't want to squish. The, let me squish the left. Scooch that over. That should be enough. Does that look about right? Hold on. No, not quite. Oh, yeah. There we go. Sorry about that. Oh, you beat me to it. I did. I did a thing, and you undid a thing. Oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> there you go. My fellow Americans, thank you so much for subscribing, sub, subscribe, scrip, you know the thing, man. It's for a fox in space, man. A fox in space. What a show. The best animated series about space foxes. Have you heard of it? I have. It's got Fox McCloud, Peppy, Rob 64, he does his little beep beep boop. Location confirmed, sending supplies. The rest of the gang, the really great guys, trust me, I know them personally. 
Wait, wait a minute. Why is a fox in space? What's he doing out there? Every day I see them out there fighting the good fight, making Corneria great again. We gotta bring, bring him back to Earth, cause, cause that's where he lives, Jack. And that's what we gotta do for every fox in America. We gotta, gotta bring him back to the film focus of the oh, thanks, bug. chicken camp. That's what Corn Pop said. I just hope it. I just hope it looks good when it's done. And when Corn Pop's in the cockpit, you porn. I may have to the, put in a few frames and. The, 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 you know the thing, man. I don't know. This is this is a whole new form of animation for me that I'm trying out. So. Yeah, definitely. I haven't really done anything really actiony before. This character is walking, talking. But I don't know. I like whenever I work on something. I want to do something that's way outside of my comfort zone. In terms of like, you know, technical things. We'll get there. Yeah. Yeah, I know, Roscoe. I thought about that when Fred was like, oh, let me pop you up here. And I, I was working on the most cakiest shot in this whole animation. Uh oh. I mean, this is all you're going to see when it comes out. I just like to draw a little extra to help me with, like, the form. But. <laughs> like, I didn't have to draw his hand down there, but I. I wanted to because it, it just helps me visualize what I'm doing better. I hope it's not chocolate.
upside down cake, Roscoe. Come on. Less than an hour before we switch over to YouTube. <clears throat> but how is everybody doing? Honestly. Oh, wait, I'm a yeen. <laughs> ah! I think we'll just carry right over. Same theme. No reason not to, really. I believe a couple of us have. I've watched all of it, but the final episode. Watching it as the episodes came out, like the first the first season just came out. I think it was late 2014, early 2015. And I 
watched like the first two episodes and I was like, eh, God, is this going to be another like family guy kind of thing? And then after like the first one or two episodes, it, I, I got into it. I just, I, I wasn't sure. I'm even less sure now. Anytime that there's a show that comes out now, I just, I don't even want to watch TV anymore or movies. I used to be a guy that would go to the movie theater like at least, at the very least, once a month. On average, like once every two weeks or so, at the very least. Now, it, I've, I've, I think I haven't been to the movie theater since the first Dune, so like almost two years ago. God we saw my. the new Spider-Man movie together. Oh, that's right, that's right. Yeah, I did see that. Well, there, there's two, two movies in <laughs> like a year and a half. Yeah. And that was fun to see in theaters. I'm a little outdone on the whole comic book movie thing, but that was a pretty good one. There is one movie that I want to see that's out right now. Let me make sure I get the title right. Poor things. That's what I wanted to see. Oh, I saw a trailer for that, I think. Yeah, I heard it was incredible. And I, I know nothing of it other than the name. I'll totally go see the new Sonic movie in theaters. I think I've seen, yeah, Wait, both movies in theaters. Another at this Sonic point. movie? Yeah, of course there is. Well, I mean, I knew they were going to do another one, but like they've they've already they they got her. It's coming out this year. Uh, I don't actually know. I just know that everyone's been talking about a new Sonic movie. Yeah, it's got Shadow the Hedgehog in it. Oh god, they're adding Shadow. 
Of course. I don't. I, I don't know who any of those characters are. Like Sonic the Werewolf, Sonic and the Knights of the Elder Templar regime, or whatever the fuck. Like I don't. I played up to Sonic a Adventure Crusader. One. <laughs> Sonic and the Crusades. Is that what it was? No, God, Jesus, that'd be horrible. You think there'd be plenty of God and Jesus? That would still be horrible. Don't let me forget my own debut. It's in 30 minutes. I have a timer. I'd be so embarrassed. There's already a bunch of people in the YouTube thing going like, oh my god, episode three is already done. <laughs> it literally says episode three progress, not episode, I don't know. I have to be a little extra careful with my wording 
when it comes to the YouTube crowd, you have to explain things a little more. They're not as uh, apt as the, the, the regular Twitch crowd. No offense. They run on a different algorithm. Well, they run on an algorithm, I think. Well, I guess Twitch has an algorithm too? I don't know. <laughs> I met the people. Well, I know, but as I'm saying, YouTube has an algorithm, but does Twitch? Oh, yeah, it does. Well, I'm making beef stew tonight, and I'm wondering if I should start that now. Making It'll take me what? like 20 minutes because it's going to have to cook for like two and a half, three hours. The beef stew that I'm going to make for dinner. Um, would you be upset if I started that now? Oh, are, are you coming back? Yeah, of course. I'm only going to be gone for like 20 minutes. Oh, well, I've still got 30 minutes for this stream. Yeah. Not that I, I need you there at the moment of switch over. I just, <laughs> no, like, go do your thing. Okay. I won't be long.
right on. We're less than 30 minutes from switching over. Hello, hello. We've got about 25 minutes left before we switch over to the YouTube stream.
I can go over a little bit of the script here. Let me save this. I'll show what I have of episode three so far on the YouTube stream when I get to it. But this is, uh, to sum up everything that's happened so far that I've animated, Wolf lands on Fortuna, waiting on these, or these lizard guys are waiting on him by a barbecue. He lands, <sighs> excuse me, he lands with the ship that he stole from Bill. gives the ship key to or the launch key for the ship to one of this guy's henchmen whatever and they bring him in this is Yanush Pawalski is the patriarch of this uh, company I call it a company they, they do business but anyway he's he's in here in his big office of fancy stuff. Bot, where'd your ship go? Anyway, the door opens here. It's like, hey there. It's nice to finally meet you. He motions for him to sit down. Oh, thank you, thank you. Door slams. <laughs> And he says in Polish, he's like, Witam, Niko, I am from Montpinie, dos, dos, tre, nice, swoje. You know, just going on, Wolf's like, uh, I can't. Nie rozumiesz ani słowa, czuć nie. He's like, you can't understand what I'm saying, can you? He's like, I, I don't speak your language, sorry. Lad, chodź to! Co na tarzisty, perzywo. Just... Yells for him to come in the room. Oh, hey, it's it's Leon, right? I brought the ship just... Uh, why is it lagging? I brought the ship just like I promised. Nikolai already looked at it. Stolen ship is paying debt. Kyle O'Donnell? Yeah, the money my dad owes you. He uh, doesn't know I'm here. And Leon looks at his dad and translated... And he's like, his father doesn't know he came here to pay his debt. Like, anytime you see this up here, that means he's speaking in Polish. Leon knows English. Russian is his first language. He doesn't spend much time with his father. His mother's Russian. He speaks Polish and Russian and a little bit of English, enough to translate what Wolf's saying. Yeah, this is right after episode two. I'll, I'll go through the full thing so far when I do start the YouTube stream, which is in 15 minutes. Anyway, Jego ojciec nie wie, że przyleciał tu spłacić jego dług. His father doesn't know he came here to pay his debt. His dad's like, hmm. 
Nick, and he says in Polish, Nikolai tells me he found a tracking device on the main console of the ship. Did you know about this? Did you know track device was in ship? Yes. I crushed it as I was leaving Corneria. And he says in Polish to his dad, he destroyed it leaving Corneria. And Yanush says, it was destroyed when Nikolai found it. Maybe you destroyed it after you landed to Fortuna. How do I know you're telling truth? Device broken when he finding it. But maybe you break when landing to Fortuna. How he know you telling truth? Sir, I came here to pay my father's debt and to ask you for a job. I was careful. No one in the entire Lilat system knows I'm here except for you. Uh, well, well uh, I, I mean, and then, you know, they, they chuckle. Like, <laughs> or, 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 he, he chuckles a little bit, and then he says to his dad in Polish as he's walking up, he's here to pay the money back and to ask you for work. He was cautious, and no one knows he is here except us. And, you know, it's, uh, you know, he, he grabs him by the shoulders and just kind of shakes him a little. At this moment, Wolf realizes, like, he, he did the, the worst speech option that he could have picked. And now they know that no one knows he's there, so whether they trust him or not, they can just kill him or whatever and get rid of him, and they don't have to worry about anything, because no one knows he's here. He made sure of it. He admitted to it. So at this moment, Wolf's like, oh, plan B. And you know, says you in Polish, you help your father paying off his debt, but regarding this transmitter, I can't just believe you. I can't afford to leave traces behind. And you, my boy, leave a very clear trail behind you. And Leon translates, you do good for your father because you pay his debt with sheep. But we cannot trust you. We cannot allow you to leave. Are you telling him exactly what I'm saying? And his dad's just like, don't resist. It will hurt much less. And he pulls it out. He's like, no, wait, wait, wait. Please, please, sir. Wait, wait, wait. Zaraz, chikai, chikai. He's translating. He's saying, wait, please, please, please. Yeah. Like, now wait, wait, please, 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 wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Zaraz, chikai, chikai, chikai. I, I, I have to say something to you. I have a paper in, I have a paper in my coat, my coat pocket that, that, that I would like to read to you, Mr. Pawalski. Please let me read it, please. Proche, 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 <laughs> proche. And then Leon says, and. Polish. He wants to read you something on a piece of paper. And this is, I don't have all of it blocked out here just yet. And uh, his dad just, you know, just waves. He's like, all right. And Wolf is like, thank you. And this is where he, he gets the piece of paper out of his pocket. He's holding it. Leon's looking at it like, what the fuck? And he's just like, do it. <laughs> and Wolf gulps, takes a breath, and he's like, Yes to to Gishai Abespoachic Dwuk Mojego Oitsa Aletso Vajnesha Abeznalisht Pratsa Narazia Niemamuz Jadne Persis Wolfschi Na Corneri. Moge pomuts tvoje rodzinie, ofia rovuje ci moje szacunek, moje słowo i moje usługi. And they all start laughing. Like, <laughs> usługi. <laughs> na przykład, na pr and then, then Leon turns and is like, zamkanon się kurwa. Like tells her, shut the fuck up. <laughs> And now, you know, they, they stifle their laughter a little bit. <laughs> and Wolf is just like, thank you, thank you. <laughs> but Leon's is like, no, keep doing. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he 
great. He, uh... He, 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 he puts the knife to his neck. Wolf, Wolf is like, thank you, thank you. And he's like, no, I'll keep doing. <laughs> and then Wolf looks back at the, the paper and starts reading it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've, I've got a couple friends that are uh, going over the, the script and stuff, the Polish parts, to make sure that they don't sound cringe to Polish viewers. <laughs> I'm gonna have to have help. I will be voicing Leon. Leon speaks Russian, Polish, and English. Though his Polish sounds a little uh, Russian. His Russian is his first language. A little lore for my version of Leon here. a great still image as <laughs> the dad you'll, you'll see him on the thumbnail on YouTube and uh, this is Leon Leon is Yanusha's son so are Pyotr and Stanislav but these two are half brothers of Leon like, this is all of their dad, but Leon has a different mother. Now, here's this is the marble sculpture. <laughs> These are placeholders, obviously. Just placeholders. But anyway, like this, uh. God Almighty. <laughs> anyway, yeah, he has a second wife. He got divorced. And he married his second wife a couple of years after he they had Pyotr and Stanislav. And his current wife is Leon's mom. I don't know why it's doing this. Anyway, so Leon's mom is Russian. Pyotr and Stanislav's mom was Polish. He, 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 his, his more recent wife is Russian. And Leon was kind of like the younger sibling, so they kind of pushed him away. He was the baby of the family only by a few years. <clears throat> and Leon stayed closer to his mom. So... Leon speaks way more Russian than he does Polish. Even though he's, you know, he's got a Polish dad and a Polish last name and everything, he's closer to his mom than he is his dad. He's the young, he's the youngest sibling. But anyway. Part of that is because I'm voicing him and I speak Russian, but I don't speak Polish. So. <laughs> Peel. Five months ago, all I had done was him walking into the room. So in the past five months, I've gotten four or five minutes done. Yeah, this is as, like, five months ago, I was animating him closing the door. 
If you watch episode two on repeat all night while you sleep, YouTube has a thing where if you're watching stuff on loop, it will stop after an hour and ask you, do you want to keep playing? And if you don't, it pauses it, so. So I feel good that, that I got that much done first. We're at about, we're almost at the five minute mark for this scene, so. Yeah, we're at the five minute mark. I should probably, actually, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off of here. I'll see you all over on YouTube. Uh, let me find the link. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Here we go. I'll put the link here. I've got a setup for the, the key and all of that stuff. So y'all have a good one and, uh, and, and I'll see you in a few minutes.